taken to the heart of the Burnley defence. Smart jewels, but it's easily cleared. Only as far as Lee Hurst, but Hurst fails to get any power on it. And a good uh, a good cross ball there by Mockler finding Logan, whose left foot drive just past the upright. But <laughs> finding Mayer and an appeal for a penalty there, but Mr. Bell. Holds his hand down and uh, no penalty given, but there's a head injury. So it's a free kick to Scarborough. David Logan to take it. And Lee Hurst and Mayer both join the attack for this set piece. That's Jan. And a chance and it's a goal. A.D. Mayer sneaks in. The flick on by Chris Lee. And Adrian Mayer puts Scarborough one goal to nil into the lead. 16 minutes gone, and it's A.D. Mayer. The goal scorer shepherding that one back to his goalkeeper Priestley. That was a clever little flick on by Chris Lee and uh, Mayer came from behind the Burnley defence there to slot that one home. It's a Scarborough lead after 16 minutes. Chance here now for Lancashire and Lancashire through. Lancashire against Priestley. And Lancashire equalises. 17 minutes gone. And Graham Lancashire equalises for Burnley. Sloppy defensive work by Scarborough. As soon as they got in the lead, Burnley come back one minute later through Graham Lancashire. <laughs> Lee. Lee a long ball and this one is for Jewels and Jewels in the box. The goalkeeper stayed where he was. And another goal for Scarborough. This time, it looks as though it's Tommy Mooney who's got the finishing touch to that one. It is, in fact. And Mooney puts Scarborough back into the game, into the lead after 20 minutes. Mooney, who in turn finds Reed. Reed forward to Mooney. Four Scarborough forwards in the area. And it's a brilliant save there. That was a good save by Marriott, and it had to be. Knocks inside, and this is Ashjan and Farrell, and Farrell knocks it clear to Eli. Again, Scarborough comes forward, but well won back there for Buckler. And it's Young Lancashire again, this time over the bar, but uh, a good break by Burnley there. Way by Mayer, finding Reed. Reed to Mooney. Mooney and Davis. Mooney knocks the ball inside to Lee. Lee in turn out to this side to Logan. Logan cuts inside back to Lee. On to Mooney. And Mooney forces a terrific save off Marriott again. But again, uh, the approach went from Scarborough. <laughs> Mayer, not a good ball there. And this, is Chancery, like, and this could be off. Mark Ash could be given the red card here. It just depends how the referee spots this. If Mr. Bell says that was a goal scoring opportunity, he could be having an early bath. Just remains to see how Mr. Bell saw that, but uh, to me, Eli would have gone on to goal there. And by the rules, this should be a red card, which it is. Mark Ash is sent off after 52 minutes of play. Logan, a beautiful piece of play there. 
Get himself out from and starts Mark Jules on. Jules being closed. Needs to play the ball early. And Jules has gone through himself. Mark Jules, one-on-one. -on -one. And he knocks the ball wide of the Burnley goal. But what a chance for Scarborough there. Mark Jules. Lady <laughs> Mayer just quite getting that one. But Mockler heads on and finds Tommy Mooney. Mooney out to John Reed. John Reed dinks the ball. Mooney gets ahead to it. Ashjan's Chan. And that's a goal by John Ashjan. Ashjan turned after. The initial work by Tommy Mooney, and it's the goal by John Ashton going under the body of Andy Marriott to make the score. Scarborough 3, Burnley 1. So after 69 minutes, it's John Ashton. Asham again. And that's the final whistle. And Scarborough have uh, got a good three points here final score, Scarborough 3, Burnley 1, the goal scores for Scarborough. Frank Casper